Today we're going to take a look at Francis Richard Stockton, the author of The Lady or the Tiger. Francis Richard Stockton wrote under the pen name Frank R. Stockton. He also used Paul Fort and John Lewis as pseudonyms based off of his siblings' names. Stockton was born on April 4, 1834 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and he died on April 20, 1902 in Washington, D.C. In the early 1850s, he experienced his first success as a writer when he won the top entry for the Boys and Girls Journal while he attended Central High School in Philadelphia. He graduated in 1852. He wanted to become a writer, but his father wanted him to have a more practical trade, so Stockton apprenticed to be a wood engraver. During his apprenticeship, he was published in two magazines, The American Carrier and The Southern Library Magazine as well as two newspapers, the Philadelphia Press and the Philadelphia Morning Post. In 1860, he established his office for wood engraving and he married Mary Ann Edwards Tuttle. They had no children. His wife was a former literature teacher who collaborated with him on some of his nonfiction books. In 1867, Stockton gained acclaim when he published Tingling on the Riverside Magazine for Young People. In 1870, he became the assistant editor and chief contributor for the children's section of Hearth and Home. In 1873, he became the assistant editor and contributor for the St. Nicholas, a prestigious children's magazine. In 1878, Stockton was forced to leave his position because of failing eyesight. He was forced to dictate his stories for the rest of his life. In 1879, Stockton gained his first major success with the publication of Rudder Grange, a collection of stories about a married couple and their servant. In 1882, he published his most famous short story, the Lady or the Tiger in Century Magazine. Many scholars and great writers have debated the ambiguity of its ending. It has been adapted into both a play and a film. In 1887, after the publication of the B. Ohm and other fanciful stories, Franklin became established as one of the greatest humorous and children's authors of his time. He was honored with the Lewis Carroll Shelf Award for the fairy tale The Griffin and the Minor Cannon and the, short, the Storyteller's Pack of Frank R. Stockton Reader. In regards to the ending of The Lady or the Tiger, Robert Browning, one of the most famous English poets of the Victorian age, said, He had no hesitation in supposing that such a princess under such circumstances would direct her lover to the tiger's door.